Hello guys, welcome back to Sand VFX. Today in this lesson we are going to be looking at Krakatoa's PRT Maker. Uh, it's a really simple tool inside Krakatoa. We can really create some cool looking designs. Here is a quick example on what we can create through PRT Maker. Okay, okay something like this. Uh, it's just a random stuff. Okay, and it's uh, really simple to create this effect and just a uh, few clicks and we can do that. It's a really simple technique but still it um, really gets some cool results. So let me get into Max and let's pick it up. So to access the PRT Maker we can go to Krakatoa and open the PRT Maker Designer UI or you can also access it from geometry down to Krakatoa PRT Maker okay anyway you can choose okay let me open the PRT Maker design UI here I have it's um, it looks a little complicated but there's nothing it's really simple the first thing we need to do is create our PRT Maker click this button right here okay and you will see we have got this simple icon and some particles run in here so this is a default design that uh, is uh, by default when you click the PRT Maker. Okay, I can, I'll just uh, zoom out my viewport. Okay, and if I render out, there's nothing. But if I go to my Alpha channel, I get all these particles right there. Okay, so let me get rid of this for a while and let me create a light. Okay, standard and target spot. Okay, just quickly. Let me delete this one. Okay, let me go to another viewport, front maybe, okay, and target spot. Okay. So, since my particles are really small, let me just scale this up. Okay, so that it will be easier for us to navigate. Okay. And now let me increase my spotlight radius, spotlight parameter hotspot also let me move this a little bit back and up okay now if I go ahead and render out I can see my particles okay this is what we get by default okay let's get back to our PRT maker designer UI and from here what we can do is we can change our transformation count to any numbers there are lots of numbers by default it is at 3 okay so let me go to 4 and reset to quick design and this is how the 4 looks like so you can also view them in a dynamic mode you can click this button dynamic explorer mode and then you can just change them so that you will see you will see update on your viewports as you go on changing okay you can just go ahead and choose what you like okay let's get back okay this one's looking good as well and let's go with something like this one let me get out of dynamic explorer mode now and reset the quick design okay now if I move my time slider there's nothing happening because we have not set anything to animate okay now what we can do is we can also change this random set so again let me go to dynamic explorer mode and if I change my random set you can see that my particles change quickly so it will also get some different results okay let's say I like this design right here and previous one this one was the previous one and the new one at 48 okay the previous one is at 45 okay now let me get out of dynamic explorer mode and go to auto key and set key at zero frame I have all this reset to quick design once again and let me go to 100 frames and change my random sheet to 48 and apply design at current time okay once that I do that I can see that my particle morph from one seed to another okay that is how we create this cool looking animation okay but you, one thing you gotta keep in mind is that you cannot animate this transformation count if you do that uh, something weird result you'll get some some weird result 
let me show you set key and let me go to next frame set it to six and apply design at current time okay you'll see that our complete design changed because the seed is different according to this count for count six its seed is one two three four eight it's something like this one and for count five it was a different one so it's always better to not animate this count rather you animate this random seed to in order to get the result you want okay but still it's looking good as well but what happened is the one design we choose at the beginning changed and it is now something else okay okay so uh, the next thing what we do is we'll just let it be with this design only and if I move somewhere around here I like this design something re it's looking really cool I can save this design just name this design let's say random design underscore zero zero one and I can just save that current design and you'll get this design right here I have already sa saved some other one as well so you'll get this design and you can apply that to any frames let's say if you like it at the zero frame then merge preset at current time not not zero frame at let's say at about 40 at 90 merge preset at current time okay then we'll again get that the same design at frame 80 as well okay it's really a cool one and you can also load or reset your designs and so okay uh, okay once uh, that's done I'm okay it's good for this design and what I'm gonna do next is render my particles okay so we'll be using Krakatoa obviously bring Krakatoa to front okay uh, let me scale it a little bit so everything will be inside the scene okay now uh, if I just hit render by default you'll get something like this we had done before as well so what we're gonna need is we need to adjust some final pass density let's say about one and density exponent may be negative two okay let me hit render again okay now it's looking a little better another thing I'm gonna turn on is this force additive mode additive mode so that it gives a little bit of glow to our particles okay you can see it's looking really cool now another thing we can do is okay let me minimize this one for a while and let me click this icon right here this is a icon for a PRT maker so you can see that it already has a magma PRT operator applied to it so that we can open up our magma editor and edit that to assign the different colors to our particles and by default there is a blend material and two different colors blend together and applied so this is what like we have got an input channel here and output color right here and output emission right here we have these two color inputs and it is blended together with this blend node right here and give it as output to our particle so let's say if we need, instead of two we want to use three colors so what are we gonna do is go to input and input value bring our input value and let me go to vector okay from here I can choose my color let me say this something to like yellow okay, let's see for others it has some blue and this one has some orange so let me go with something like purple okay okay now I cannot connect this to this blend right here if I connect this one then another one is going to be disconnected so what we need to do is we need to get rid of this uh, blend node and instead of that we need a uh, okay let me drag this one out and let me go to BLOP down to vectors and three color gradient okay so I get this three color gradient a new node and you can see that I have one control right here color one color two and color three so that I can input my ch input channel to this control right here and input all of my colors into different color shots like color one okay let me pull this out and color two and color three okay so I have got this all connected into my color gradient so now I can connect this color gradient to my output color and output emission okay ok 
Okay, it's uh, okay. Now let us go ahead and hit render. Okay, let me get it of auto key and hit render. Okay, now I can see I have got some different colors and it's looking pretty cool. Okay, let me move to some other frame somewhere like this one. Okay, it's looking good as well. And you can also now go to your PRT Maker Design UI, choose different count and different random seeds. Just go ahead and do some quick tests, and you can get some really cool results. Okay, let's go to last frame, render it out as well. Okay, it's looking really nice right now. Okay. And you can also do lots of stuff with this magma flow editor. You have got lots of operators and nodes in it. And you can just do some tests and get out some really cool result. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I have been working on some more tutorials as well. So, till then, have a great time and see you soon. Bye bye.